In this tutorial, you will revolve a function and determine a volume of a solid. You will begin by sketching a function of x on the front plane. You will utilize the sketch equation tool. In this revolve solid, as I take my section plane and cut through the solid, every cross section is a circle. But that circle radius varies as a function of x. So let's look at a couple of equations. I have y is equal to 2 plus x cosine x. That is the equation of my top curve. I also know that an area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. If I square the function of y, it starts to look a little complicated with the FOIL method. I'm going to use SOLIDWORKS to help me determine the volume of this solid as I revolve the curve as a function of x about the x-axis. Let's begin. Create a new part. Select Tools, Sketch Entity, select Equation. Enter the value y is equal to 2 plus x cos x. Use the limits from minus 2 to 2. Now utilize a construction line to sketch a center line through the origin. Click Line. Sketch a vertical line from the end point of your function to the horizontal axis. Sketch a horizontal line. Sketch a vertical line. The profile is now closed. Click the Features tab. Click Revolve Boss Base. Select 360 degrees. If required, select the horizontal center line as the axis of revolution. Click OK. Press the F key to fit the model to the graphics window. Utilize Tools, Mass Properties to determine the volume. You can also select on Materials in the Feature Manager to set the material properties of your solid. If you want to calculate total surface area, you need to select all the surfaces. Again, utilize Tools, Mass Properties. The surface area is calculated in square millimeters. Return to an isometric view. The shortcut is Control-7. Utilize the section view and select the front plane. Return to a full view and click Save. 